Hey everybody, my name is Zach and today I want to show you the SRT anchor systems that I use to get me up in a tree and to get set up for a successful day of climbing. There, I'm not here to tell you that this is a complete list of, of any possibilities, but it's the stuff that I like to use and I found most convenient for me. So after I've gotten my throw line into a suitable union up in the top of the tree, I pull my climbing rope up there I pull it up there so that way the short side of the rope, you know, and I pull this rope down to me, the short part is where I want, is on the side of the unit I want to climb. The longer part that's still in the bag is over there and I don't have to get it all out of the bag. So I go ahead and I pull out a couple, couple extra feet here. That way I have enough tail on the ground to get me through a couple redirects if I need to throughout the day. I like to have, it, it depends on the tree, but probably 10 or 12 feet of rope on the ground uh, something I like a lot about SRT climbing is that you can do this and have this amount of tail the entire day that way if you're working in close proximity to a chipper you can make sure your, your rope is short enough that it is impossible for it to get dragged into the chipper or something like that in fact that's almost one of my favorite aspects of SRT climbing is just a fixed tail length once I've got enough tail pulled out onto the ground uh, to climb the tree and to, to work safely for the day I like to take my rope bag and just walk around the tree and make a base anchor with it. Again, leaving all the extra rope in the bag. So in this situation, if you've got a 200 foot rope and you only need 120 feet, you don't have to get that extra 80 feet out, you just leave it in there. Once I've got the rope walked around the tree here, I like to tie an alpine butterfly. I take a little quick shackle here and I set it up so that way it cinches nicely. I like to set up so that way the pin, the, the, I don't know, the terminal end of the pin is against the tree. That way it can't get pushed or anything like that. So then this makes a nice little base anchor. Now, if you're interested in doing a lowering, a lowerable base anchor, you'd also tie another alpine butterfly here. So that way somebody could clip their timing, their climbing system into here and lower you down off of their harness or something like that. Something else too is if I'm setting up a porter wrap on the bottom of the tree, I want to make sure that the porter wrap is set up in a way that doesn't interfere with this base anchor. No matter what kind of base anchor you're using, that's something that's pretty important. So we typically like to set the porter wrap up above this, above our, our base anchor. And ideally we don't want, you know, to be right next to our anchor side of the system, you know, interfering with it. We want to rotate this around or rotate the porter wrap around or something like that. Um, but that way, when the porter wrap is, you know, loaded, is in its upward position, it doesn't have a loaded rope crossing our base anchor in any way, and there's no, no chance of things getting damaged in there. So now I've got my base anchor over there. I'm all strapped in here. I want to do a bounce test on this to make sure that it's not going to surprise me by coming off of a twig or something like that up there in the canopy. Now, I've, you know, visually I can see it's not caught on anything, but more times than I care to admit, I've not seen something up there and it breaks off a little twig or a little sprout or a little dead stick and you know it drops me a couple inches and just you know nobody likes that feeling so anyhow i like to just jump on it once like that and i put it in a foot ascender and without you know without raising up the rope runner i let my body weight fall into that now somewhere i read once upon a time that it was a good idea or it was required or something to test the, the climbing rope with double the climber's weight before ascending the rope. Now, I believe that can be done in a drop test if you drop yourself from high enough. Um, we'll test that later in this video. I've got a way to measure that and we'll find out if that's true. Then I'm gonna need this chainsaw once I get up there. So what I like to do is tie it onto my rope down here first before I ascend. And that way I can pull it up to me once I'm up there and it serves as a weight on the rope to help my ascenders advance, which is mighty nice. We got a rope walking system all set up, and up we go. I do not rope walk with a knee ascender, I use something a little different, so I will show you guys that in another video at another time. Now this base anchor is mighty handy for getting up in the tree here, however it does have some drawbacks, you know, once we go to work the rest of the tree, 
Uh, for one, this, this line is vulnerable. If it gets hit or cut or snagged by a bypassing machine or some rigging or branch or anything, that's gonna be another place for interference in your climbing system. Another thing is that theoretically, this side of the rope has to hold back your own body weight in order to keep your body weight supported over here. Um, you know, so basically saying if I weigh 200 pounds, for example, there's 200 pounds on this side, but there's also 200 pounds on this other side, which means that this union is gonna see 400 pounds of force. Now, that's all theoretical and doesn't include the amount of friction that's in here. So what I often like to do is convert my base anchor into a canopy anchor. So what I like to do is put all my weight in my lanyard and then go ahead and slack my climbing line. And give it a little bit of slack over the union and then tie an alpine butterfly on this side of the union. Then again, just like on the base anchor, I like to use a little quick shackle. And again, make sure the pin is away from the, the tree. And there we go. Now I've got myself a canopy anchor and only my body weight, only the climber weight, you know, climber and gear will be on this point. This side of the system now functions as a retrieval rope. So when I get down out of this tree and I take my climbing gear off and I pull on this side of the rope, it'll pull this anchor down out of the tree. So you can trim a tree, get done and pull this down out and never have to, you know, change anything up for the descent. Um, it also serves as a rescue rope. You know, whenever you're climbing, you should have some sort of secondary access in the tree so that way, should you get hurt and need rescued, um, somebody can ascend on that secondary system and come up and rescue you. All right, guys, so I got called away and I wasn't able to finish filming and doing all the testing that I wanted to do on the, the SRT canopy anchor stuff. So I'll put that in another video. Um, if you want to catch it, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to have somebody come help me in and we'll do some fun stuff. Um, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.